Hello, Bristol. Um, great to see a, a fellow social enterprise city in action. Um, my name is Gareth Hart. I'm the chair of Plymouth Social Enterprise Network and also the director of my own social enterprise, which is Iridescent Ideas Community Interest Company. So I'm delighted to, hear, to be here today to talk to you about how Plymouth's developing as your brother social enterprise city or sister social enterprise city. Um, we're all comrades in this, in this great movement, which is really making a difference in, uh, in our respective places. It's a beautiful day here. I hope the same is true for you. So first of all, I wanted to set a bit of the scene about Plymouth. Um, we are the city of gin, the best kind of gin, of course. Um, the Naval Dockyard, Drake, The Ho, Plymouth Argyle, Tom Daly. Um, so we've got some great things. Plymouth is, is located in a fantastic place, um, but its location is a blessing and a curse. Um, that sort of beautiful marine environment makes us a gateway to the sort of to Cornwall with that millions of tourists, but we are geographically isolated. You saw the train line that was destroyed last year by, by the winds. And a social enterprise city is all about trying to tackle some of these issues to give us some more resilience to make our communities um, deliver some great things. And there's some real important social issues that we're trying to tackle here. So Plymouth ranks really poorly for entrepreneurship, one of the worst cities in the country around business startups. Um, we've got really wide health inequalities. In some parts of the city, people live up to 12, 15 years longer than other parts. Um, nearly one in three people in Plymouth are heavily in debt, one, again, one of the worst rates in the country. So what we've got in the city is lots of social enterprises tackling that. And I hear talk about Plymouth Social Enterprise Network and what we've done around developing the social enterprise city concept. So PSEN, the network, is a membership organisation that serves the social enterprise community. And we led the partnership that put in the Social Enterprise City bid with Plymouth City Council and Plymouth University in particular, and some private sector partners as well. Um, there are about 150 social enterprises in Plymouth, bringing in £500 million of income, employing 7,000 people, including mega social enterprises like Plymouth University, first ever to get the social enterprise mark, um, right down to tiny one, two people and businesses as well. So I wanted to talk about a little bit about some of the positives that Social Enterprise City has brought us. And it's been a really interesting journey for the last couple of years, and I'm sure it's been the same in Bristol too. So one of the best things that's happened is the council introduced a Social Enterprise Investment Fund of up to £500,000 to put money into social enterprises to help them grow. What was really exciting about that was the council had said that would not have happened without Social Enterprise City and the work of the Social Enterprise Network. So networks are, are fantastic things. They, they bring people together, they can influence, they can campaign, and they can really make a difference. Uh, and that £500,000 was a really good mixture of grants and loans, capital, revenue, business support. It's really helped um, social enterprises grow in the city. We've had some great engagement on the Social Value Act. Still more to do there, but it opened doors with commissioners, public health, and the council, procurement, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so that's been really good. Um, we've had a, a social incubator fund set up here as well. Again, Social Enterprise City was a key part of their bid. Some really good involvement with the local media. Our local newspaper is very supportive um, and really helped us push the message out into the public domain. I think that's a really, really important part. And one thing I would um, say is one of our major lessons learned. We've also been able to look internationally across to America, um, the Social Enterprise Alliance in Massachusetts, which is really big news for us is that obviously the 400th anniversary of the saying the Mayflower from Plymouth takes place in 2020 and Social Enterprise City is a real key part of the plans uh, for that celebration too. It's not all rosy, there's been some challenges. The business support environment for Social Enterprise here in the city is, is quite tricky. There's no coherent strategy or plan to support startups right through to growth. There's piecemeal support and that's the only really tackle. Engaging with our local enterprise partnership is a bit of a mixed bag as well. You know, We've got to fight hard to keep social enterprise on the agenda, but social enterprise city is a great way to do that. Um, so yeah, so it's been you know, a really interesting journey. You know, we've had some great, great news. We've had some um, some challenges, and uh, it's been an interesting partnership that we've developed with the local media and, and private sector. Um, and it's you know really brought some tangible outcomes as well. Okay, yeah, some of the next things um, we've got on the agenda. Really, immediately next week we are launching a fantastic um, social enterprise directory. For Plymouth, and alongside that, a mobile phone app as well, which we're going to be launching. It's all about promoting awareness of social enterprise. We've had a directory in 2012, 
it's a real, really important moment in the social enterprise journey in the city. But since then, you know, things have changed. We've become the social enterprise city, uh, and we're really delighted to launch this next week. And if we can get more people buying from social enterprises as well, use the app, use the directory, uh, I think we can make a great difference. And where we hope to take it next is around things like cementing that business support. We've got to get that right to help social enterprises throughout the whole journey. Um, we want to work with young people more as well. We want every young person in the city of Plymouth to have a, a social enterprise experience. And social enterprise city is a great way to hang um, that concept on to, to work with schools uh, and council and others as well. But my big thing is really public awareness. I think we've got to get social enterprise more into the public domain. It's still a bit niche for me. And social enterprise city, the places, and I'm sure you're doing this in Bristol as well, we've got to engage with people more about social enterprise. So my take on this, and what I think we need to do next, and my, my advice for, for what it's worth, is that we've got to work hard to see cities like Bristol, like Plymouth, like Sunderland, Salford and others, where social enterprise is central to the way we do business. We really need that high street social enterprise revolution. If you look across the country, there's fantastic examples of social enterprises. There's banks and bakers and florists and accountants. There's, you know, a whole range of sports shops, hairdressers, travel agents, all using the social enterprise model. If we could bring them together more in our cities, I think that would be really powerful. We've got to get people talking about social enterprise in their homes, in the offices, at the school gates, in sports clubs. And that, to me, is the power of social enterprise city and social enterprise places. Bristol, Plymouth, all the places, we can get together. If we can create those conversations, then we really can make a difference. We can create the social economy we want and see a, a, a better economy, a better world and tackle the social problems that we're all looking to kind of tackle. So good luck with your event today. I hope it goes well. I hope Bristol and Plymouth and others, we all join together more and we work really well. Um, and you can do some fantastic things in Bristol. I'm really looking forward to hearing more about what you do. Um, I know Daniel is a great entrepreneur and he's doing some fantastic things up there. I'm looking forward to hearing more. So good luck. Have a great day. And here's to Social Enterprise. Thank you.